heartfelt thanksgiving to Prime Minister Stephen Harper because in his unawareness and increasing injustice, he has awakened a sleeping spiritual giant. That's not only indigenous peoples of this land and this world, but the people of the human family who want justice. Who understand there's only one human family. And with that consciousness of the one human family, and the consciousness that the organizing principle for this day is justice, that means the elimination of every form of prejudice, whether it be racial prejudice, whether it be gender prejudice, whether it be social prejudice of any form, whether it be sexual orientation, whether it be a prejudice against women and not with the recognition that the eagle has two wings. One is man and one is woman. Until both wings and eagle have equal power and respect, we will not have justice. It's time that we wake up that Mother Earth's not sick, the human family's sick. And we're here to demonstrate that we will no longer be asleep. We are awakening everywhere on Mother Earth. I want as well to give thanksgiving that I have the great honor and pleasure to stand upon unseated, unsurrendered Salish land on the west side of the nation, the Squamish Slavitude, and that we live in a land where only 6% of this province has been signed over a treaty. The rest of it has been illegally stolen, and that's a reality. That is a fact. And because of that, when you act out of your inherent ancient sovereignty, there is no such a thing as civil disobedience because you're acting out of that which is your right to protect Mother Earth and protect your future generations. And that's where we stand. Last thing I'd like to share is this, that this is going to be a long heartfelt struggle but the reality is that we are one human family and that not only should indigenous peoples of the human family have the right to free prior and for consent but every single human being has that right and any government that disrespects this right is a government of tyranny Justice. And all we have to do is look around and see the extremes of wealth and poverty, not only here in the United States, but in most countries in the world, to see the governments are, in fact, living in a tyrannical manner. Yeah. All we have to do is go to any reserve in this country, go right down here to our relatives in East Hastings or other places right here in Vancouver to see that there's injustice. It has to be straightened out. Streams of wealth and poverty have to be balanced. That's another part of this foundation. So I would say not only to Stephen Harper, but to any other government that comes after Stephen Harper to know that this movement for justice and respect and honor and dignity for all members of the human family is not going to get smaller, it's going to get bigger. Stronger right everywhere on Mother Earth. Everywhere. And I want to also remind us, too, that the Liberal Party was the one that conceived of and sustained the residential school system here in Canada. So we cannot expect any one single person or some political party is going to bring us the justice we seek. It's going to be the people awakening to the oneness of the human family and standing up as we are here today and making our voices heard. In our Dakota language we say, my name 
is a sacred black fight born of thunder, lightning, and rain. My name is a leader of warriors who takes the enemy's best horses, and I stand responsible before the Creator for my words and my actions. So, Check, check. Yeah, it's, you want to talk on the mic? You want to go? You want to go? No, you're just going to finish yourself. <laughs> so, scan and go, we'll go. In the, in the lands of our nation as Hajis Nahaway and in our in Canada the corporation the English name is known as Sino General also I have a music name that I go by by Chief Rock I, uh, I do a lot of uh, music and, and mixing of our, our traditional music with hip-hop music and the other thing I do is I teach uh, the legal side and, and lawful side of law there's a lot of lack of understanding and lack of you know, um, <clears throat> information that people should know, some founding information that people should truly know just as well as you know not, not to breathe in when you're underwater, not to jump out of a plane without a parachute. There's certain basic common things that people should just know. A lot of us don't know because we've been taught not to look that way, not to, not to learn what rights really are, what kind of society that we actually live in. But that's all around us at this moment is corporations. Corporations like Enbridge and, and, and all those pipelines and, and even Canada itself is a corporation. You know, when they first came to our lands, there was no corporation, it was just the people. And we welcomed the people who came off the ship and with open arms to, to come and share what we have here. As we do today. But corporations, the people who run them, you know, the 1% that we always talk about. Those are the ones that we, we need to understand the game that these people are playing with, this, with the people that are here on the land. And most people don't even realize that being called a citizen of Canada is being called an employee of Canada. It's the same, it's the same thing. You're an employee of Canada. And that's why when you turn 65 or you get to that right page, they give you a pension. Right. Because they're paying their employees a pension for working for the corporation. So we need to know these things when we go into the courtrooms. We're, we're, we're going into a, a racist corporation that only hands down judgments in, on behalf of the corporation. So we, it's hard to fight a corporation that's only going to rule in the favor of the corporation. So our people need to rise up and start putting together our own uh, people's court. You know, we need to rise up our own sheriffs, our own police, our own people that will protect our lands. Not these, these people who work for a paycheck printed by the corporation, like Canadian Tire Money. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we have all the power to do what we want to do. We don't need to listen to these people. Who are they? And who? where did they get their authority over anybody? Yeah. They have no authority over our lands. They have no authority over our bodies, over how we think, over, over our free speech, or anything that we want to say or do on, our, on these lands. They have no authority. Right and we need to learn what our true rights are. Because everything in this corporation and this world that we live in is a contract. We're living in a contractual world. Everything's a contract. You go into a buffet, you scoop out some food, you're agreeing to pay the price. Right on. And the same thing. These people, these corporations want to come on the land as, as the people. We need to tell them what the price is for trying to come on the land. We can set a price. We can tell them how much it is to come on these lands. We don't need to stand around and trying to beg the government to stop them. We can stop them. We are the power. The people are the power. Don't forget it. We are the people. We are the power. The government is not the power. The government is nothing more than a piece of paper. We need to keep that in mind. The government is nothing more than paper. It's some written documentation. People don't even know what a constitution is. A constitution is written by a constitutor, and the constitution really is a debt passed on to a third party. So our people need to understand all these, these legal things that, are, that we're trying to claim to. We want our constitutional rights. So we want our, you want rights to a debt that they're passing on to you? No. no. 
So we got to understand these things. We got to understand what a citizen is. We got to understand what paying tax is. We never had to pay tax. Who? I'm sure people from other other nations and other other worlds that come here and watch us are laughing. Like, why do you guys got to pay to live on your own planet? Right. You know, it's they, they, no wonder they want to come and talk to us. They're, they think we're crazy. <laughs> you know, a little bit of education, a little bit of awareness will really get you to stand back and see the perspective of what's really going on on these lands, these buildings, these corporations, these people that think they can tell you what to do. They can hire some some guys with guns and tasers to, to come and put you in line and, and shoot you to death if you, if you don't listen to what, what they got to say by their rules. Right we are the authority, not them. You live by our rules. They're on our lands. Yes. You know, and, and like I said, our people here are here to share our, our resources, our land, and our love with everybody. We're not, we're, we're, I'm very happy to see our, our allies here today, be people who are here to join with us to, to try and stop this, these poisonous uh, tar sands that are destroying a, a land base that people are getting cancer and dying and no one seems to care. They don't, no. They just keep on walking by as long as they get their, their Starbucks, as long as they get their, their TV and their high definition TV, they don't care. They, as long as, you know, some, let someone else get cancer and, and I won't care until it affects someone in my family. Right on. You know? So when they, when they come knocking on your door to drag you off into a camp, like they did to the Japanese people, then we'll start caring, right? Is that when, when you start caring, when they, when they hire all these corporate guys with guns to round everybody up and throw you into a camp? Be because, because, they, because you don't want pipelines? Because you don't want all these poisonous black goo running through our lands? We gotta be very mindful of the things that we hold true and keep mindful of the things that we hold dear to us. You know, a dead planet we can't do nothing with. A planet for, that gives you cancer, and no wonder they're off on other planets looking for somewhere else to live, because once they're finished finish destroying these, this planet, they're taking off all those 1% people that are, are building spaceships and space stations and, and, and putting people on Mars. You better, you better pay attention to what's really going on out in this world. Even, uh, even our officers over there that are watching us as we walk, they're going to leave all your families behind on this dead planet as well. So you guys got to be standing up and standing alongside our people who are stopping these people from destroying this planet. We need this planet to keep seven or eight, nine generations from now to be full and full of clean water, clean air, and clean animals. So I'd like to thank everybody for having me come on up and speak. I've only given a little bit of what, what's really going on, but there's, there's a whole workshop that I do on teaching people what law is. Because law is nothing more than a contract. They can't, they can't impose law upon people if you don't consent to the law, if you don't agree to the law. Alright? Now what you want to do, if people want to get together, create your own identification that shows that you're from whatever nation that you want to be part of. You know, we don't need to be Canadians because only Canadian law applies to Canadians. They can't go over to Japan and impose Canadian law. They can't come on our lands and oppose Canadian law. This is not Canadian land. Right on. It's never been sold. That's why they call it unceded territory. So again, I'd like to uh, say thank you. In our language, we say Nyao Goa. I appreciate the time that you guys had uh, here today to march through the streets and, and, and bring some perspective to everybody of what's really going on. And I'd like to end it off with a song that we, that we sing back home. Yane, we o yane, we o yane, we o yane, yane. Thank you.